so this is the underground, huh? It sure is. How did you get down here? Well, uh... I don't know. One day I kinda just woke up down here. How long were you down here for? When we first met, you asked if I fell down here. So you must know something about the kid I'm going after. I know nothing about your bounty, Barrack. I merely overheard a conversation about how the humans fall down and then get themselves killed by the monsters. So that's why there's so many disappearances. I guess so. Apparently the monsters down here have a huge grudge against humans. Aren't you a monster? If you are, then why aren't you attacking me? Well, I don't know. You don't really seem like the kind of guy to just go around and kill anything in your way. Oh well, I'm sure we'll find this kid soon enough, and then we can get out of the underground together. Uh, okay. Here, we'll go this way. Ah! Stupid pillar. Watch where you're going next time. I should be the one saying that to you since you're a human. Hold up, what does that sign say? It says here that it's the Temple of Hope. And that intruders aren't welcome. Well, there's no other way to get out of here, at least to my knowledge, so we're gonna have to trespass. Are you sure that's a good idea? Got anything better to suggest? I guess not. Well, if you have any special abilities, you better hope that you're trained well in using them because we may die here. Are you sure we're not gonna get caught? Relax. I've done this kind of stuff plenty of times before. What the hell? Oh, well, hello there. And we just got spotted. Great. Please, don't kill us, please. Relax, we have plot armor. And besides, we're not even halfway through the story yet. Oh yeah. And how did you two get in here? Don't you know that this place is restricted? We got lost. Well, actually, Varric wanted to sneak in. Shut up, you dunce. <laughs> well, fear not. That sign was made a long time ago, before I even became the caretaker of the temple. So... we're not in trouble? Not at all. In fact, I really should take some time out of my day to take down that sign. It's probably the reason why I don't get so many visitors anymore. Please, make yourself comfortable. Ah, uh, thanks. Oh, dear me. I'm terribly sorry, travelers. But I've just remembered that my place is not fit for guests. And how rude of me. I haven't even introduced myself. I am anime. The current watcher of the temple. Please stay here until I get the place ready, and then we can have a nice chat. There is no way that her name is actually anime. Well, I suppose we can go explore. <laughs> if you ask me, I think we should just find the exit and go. But what if the kid's down here? Oh yeah, good point. Hey little girl, are you here? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm not a little girl. Did you hear something, Varric? Look down here. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Just what we need. Another monster spotting us. Who are you? You're not gonna bully me, right? Uh, 
now? Well, good. It seems that you aren't as bad as I thought you were. At least you don't mock me for my weakness and hatred for science. Uh, if I may ask. But why do you hate science? Alright, that's it. You wanna pick on me? I'll show you who you're dealing with. Damn it, Mr. Man, why'd you have to provoke him? I was just asking a question. What? <laughs> Ew, what the hell? He spit my mouth! Oh my god! Oh, get out, get out! Yeah, how do you like that, pal? You wanna go too? Uh, you little bastard. You're a piece of paper, right? I'll cleave you in half, how do you like that? Wait, Varric, don't hurt him. Mystery Man, are you okay? I drank soap, so it killed the germs in his spit. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, dude, we didn't mean to cause a conflict. And my partner here didn't mean to hurt you either. Yes, I did. No, he didn't. Anyways, uh, can you answer my question? <sighs> Wait, back then, I was a normal paper creature. But then the other monsters bullied me because I was weak and because I liked math. After years of torment, my body morphed into this. Oh yeah, and I hate science because my teacher always put on this Bill Nye the Science Guy video and it gave me nightmares. Well, I'm sure there's someone out there who appreciates your math skills and your hatred for science. So you're gonna forgive me? Hell no! You spit in my mouth! Excuse me, sir. Can you please stop hitting my body with a metal bar? Uh, Yowch! So you're gonna forgive me? Of course. Before you go, though, do you by any chance know if you've seen a little girl pass by? A human one, to be precise. A human girl? Yeah, I saw one, but she's probably dead by now. Oh, hallelujah. Wait, maybe. I don't know. I didn't talk to her, but she was heading in the direction of that weirdo anime's house. Anime? You mean that cloaked woman? Yeah, she's the caretaker of this place. She was friendly. But then for some reason, things started to get strange with her. She never takes off her robe, no matter what. And she keeps talking to someone on the other side. Intriguing. Well, thank you for your time. We'll be on our way now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go play Among Us with my homies. This can't be good, Varric. What if that guy was right? Yeah. I wouldn't be too surprised if this anime monster is associated with the kid I'm looking for. Well, she said that she was going to invite us to her place. Perhaps we can find out more information there. Yeah, but we have to play it cool. Don't slip up like you did earlier. It'll get us killed. Alright, alright. There you are. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I got worried for a second when I didn't see you where we first met. Yeah, we almost got killed by some paper due to eight science. Oh, you must be talking about Evan. He's a troubled fellow, always spitting out the most incoherent nonsense about others. But I'm glad to see that you are right. Yeah, I am too. Well, please, follow me. Well, here we are, my humble home. Hey, this is a pretty nice place you've got here. Thank you. Please, sit. I'll go make some tea. Excuse me, ma'am, but do you know where the bathroom is? You see, I have this urge to take a nasty poo. Too much information. Sorry. The bathroom is down the hall on the left. 
thanks. Tea is here. So, you're a human, right? What's your name? Varric. Well, I must admit this is surprising. There haven't been too many humans who have fallen here in the underground. Well, I'm here for a special reason. I'm looking for a little girl. A human one, by the way. Have you seen her? Why, yes. I do believe I have. She had long brown hair and a pink and purple sweater. The poor thing must have been so scared. I hope she's okay. I see. Hmm. Well, I haven't found anything suspicious yet. Nor anything that could lead to the kid being here. I guess there was nothing we had to worry about after all. Well, I suppose I can check this room. What in tarnation is this? I'm sorry, Varric, but I must go. I have to take care of something. Uh, okay. Can you check up on Mystery Man for me? He still hasn't come out of the bathroom. Of course, Varric. Of course. This is pretty messed up. I agree. It's messed up that you're in my room, traveler. Oh, crumbs. I think I've seen enough. <laughs> you foolish human. You've really done it now. I couldn't get that little brat soul before. But Queen Ashma will surely still appreciate yours. Varric, run! It's too late. I'm already turning into my true form. What the hell? She's turned into the Roctopus. Ah, ah, it's on my face. Get it off. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. You will be exterminated. I will kill you both. And Queen Ashma will get your soul, Varric. She'll get that girl's soul, too. What's your deal? Why do you monsters hate humans so much? Because you took everything from us. Because of you filthy humans. We're stuck down here in the underground. I don't even know what you're talking about. I just came down here to find a child and then I'll be out of your way. Listen, we have good intentions. We come in peace. No, you don't. Well, she totally stole my ability to do that. Mystery Man, that's it. Use that realistic mouth thing you have. Well, okay. Prepare your backside for friendship, you shadowy, shovel-wielding, shameless, sinister son of a Siamese salamander. Then! Well, that was easier than expected. No, I've failed. How could I have lost? I've most definitely failed Queen Ashma. Phew, I guess the fight's over. Don't get too cocky, human. You still have a long way to go in the underground. Listen, we have business to do. We're not gonna listen to this whole I failed the queen crap, okay? Just be thankful that we're even sparing you in the first place. Yeah, what he said. Whatever. Uh, okay. That's all you have to say? Yep, that's really it. Good. Now let's go, mystery man. <laughs>